Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today we are going to upcycle this chest of drawers. So it's got three drawers in it. It came from a local auction. Uh, I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it wasn't that much money at all. So what we're going to do to start with is we're going to cover it in some grey chalk paint. Right, so this has had two coats of grey paint. I'm just going to leave it to dry now. It's near the end of the day, so I'm going to leave it overnight, but you don't have to. And then tomorrow we're going to wet distress some of the corners and we're also going to put some transfers on. So I'll just show you the transfers. We're going to use these redesign with Prima and this is Fuchsia Sunset. So I have used one of these on the mirror, So, but you get loads in there so we can use them. So I'm going to put some of those on and I'm just going to dig out the... Um, the knobs that I've got for these, they're in my craft room somewhere, so I've just got to find those. So we'll start um, again on that tomorrow. Right, so I found um, the knobs that I'm going to use. I think they're going to look really, really nice. But if you look, they've drilled another hole. So they've got two holes there. Obviously, they changed the knobs at some point. And I've just put them on just to see if you can see the second hole, and you can. So I'm going to take this out, put some wood filler, just some white wood filler, just to... A cheap one there and um, fill that and then I'm going to paint over the top and you won't be able to see that little hole underneath so I'll do that tonight and uh, then it will be all dry we can um, we can sort it after it's been painted over tomorrow right so now we're going to distress it we're going to do something called a wet distress and this is all completely dry what I'm going to use is just a baby wipe now you can just use um, a damp cloth that's absolutely fine and all you do is rub in one place just to reveal some of the underneath and um, you can get a similar effect just by using sandpaper but the wet distress is a lot cleaner so what you can do is you can kind of rub in different directions you can kind of rub down you can rub along it's completely up to you so I'm going to go over the whole piece now and just distress in various different places so doing this effect here what you're doing is you're reactivating the paint so because we haven't sealed it yet we can get we can rub the paint off and we can kind of give it this kind of vintage and distressed look now you can stick uh, skip this stage if you want to because some people just don't like the chippy kind of vintagey look so if you don't want to kind of distress it then you can leave it leave it kind of as a flat kind of color um, which also looks nice and you can do like different effects with wax if you wanted to um anyway but for this piece i want to do a little bit of the of the distressing but now we've finished that part i'm going to seal it with a matte finish over the top and then we're going to put the transfer over the top of that and then seal it i always find it quite handy as well to put your sealer in a separate tub rather than dipping your um, paintbrush in the pot because sometimes you can get like contamination still on your brushes and then you can sort of ruin the whole sort of finish. So all I'm going to do is just get my brush and just seal the whole piece in some matte finishing coat. Right, so just before I put the transfers on, I'm going to put the knobs on just so I can get a good kind of idea of dimensions where the knobs exactly sit so I can sort of centre the um, the transfers all the way down the middle. Now these um, decorative furniture knobs just came from B&M, so just keep your eye out for shops that sell things like this and even if you're not upcycling the project, you can just change the knobs on something and it gives it a totally different look. I'm just going to show you a couple of products here. Um, these are the Fairy Chic gold and silver little mini wax tubs. These are absolutely fantastic products. I've used these quite a few times. I'm not going to do it on this project, but what you can do is use this kind of wax um, in certain areas. And it brings out like, um, it gives it all different colours, different dimensions. Let me show you inside the tin so you can see how beautiful they are. So this is inside and you don't need to use much of it. It does go a very, very long way. I've used the gold one on another piece and the silver one is really, really nice too. So I mean, this one would probably look quite nice with some silver, um, but I am going to leave it in this occasion. But I wanted to show you these. Now you can buy these um, from the Fairy Sheet website and I will pop the link for that down below. And Paula also sells the um, the Fairy Sheet paint and the... Um, 
sealer as well if you want to do that. Another product that's quite good is the, the Rub and Buff and you can get that from Amazon. So the um, transfers, as I said, I'm using are the Fuchsia Sunset. So I'm going to open them out and we worked out the English for all of these and we can actually put the um, the text on all of the drawers and it kind of like matches um, in with the wording. Um, incidentally, if you want to buy these, there are a few ladies um, in the Fairy Sheet Club that sell, that sell these. Um, Paula sells them. Um, but if you do join Paula's Fairy Sheet Club, then she does offer extra discounts and so do a few of the members as well. So um, it is worth joining that and I'll just pop the link, the link in the description down below if you fancy doing that. You don't have to be a member to buy these, obviously, but you can um, get discounts if you are. So what I'm going to do is to cut out the text and leave the backing paper on. Just be careful to leave the backing paper on the rest of it. And then we will sort of stick these um, and kind of play about with them as to where they're going to look best. To put the transfers on, you're best to try and measure the middle. I mean, you can eyeball them and do them that way, but I would recommend just measuring the front of the drawers, finding where halfway is, and then kind of putting a very, very tiny mark so you know where the middle is, and then you'll know where to put your stencil. Right, so kind of measure it as to where you want it. Once you um, take the backing off, you've committed yourself. So just bear that in mind. And then if you have some painter's tape, rub tape, masking tape, that sort of thing handy, just pop that on the top and this will hold the stencil nice and steady for you. So I'm going to look at my little pencil mark, kind of go try and get as much of the stencil as I can and then I'm just going to stick that down and then that should hold it in place. I think I'm going to pop a bit at the bottom as well just to keep it secure. And then all it's a case of doing is getting the stick that came with the stencil and just rubbing it onto the drawer. And this is quite a, a rustic kind of design so you know it will have that kind of um, broken finish because that's the nature of the design so incidentally on these kinds of bits of furniture you can make molds um, now there are some fantastic molds out there Prima do some wonderful molds I know that Paula from the Fairy Chic Emporium sells them and so does the FMM Funcraft and if you go to Paula's website and join her Fairy Sheet Club, she offers discounts inside that. Um, or you can go to the FMM website and if you put FMM15 in at the checkout at the moment, they're offering 15% off your first order. So um, there's the moulds for those. Now I'm not going to put any moulds on these. I'll actually instantly go and get some to show you. Here we've got a few. Um, there's some really quite nice ones that you can that you can buy and then you just pop your um, clay or resin or whatever else you mould on and you can sort of put these on top of your bits of furniture so you can actually get some some really really nice ones I made some with some um, bright and light air drying clay from FMM and that's um that's what I made out of that one. So that won't fit on because the, dot, the top part of this set of drawers is too um, sort of tall at the back. Otherwise, something like that would have looked really pretty um, to stick on. But as I say, bear in mind that you can kind of put extra detail on as well. Right, so once you've gone all the way over the transfer, you gently peel from the top downwards. And if you've missed any bits, then what you need to do is you just get the little stick and kind of rub it again and that will hold it on so just peel very carefully and um, you know press it back if you need to don't rush it and you can kind of see where the transfer has been pushed on and if you do miss some bits it, it doesn't matter a great deal because you can kind of you can even paint them and fill them in or you can just say it's a bit farmhousey rusticy now I'm finding that by 
um, sealing the um, the unit before putting these on, it's fine. I'm finding it quite hard to get it to stick. So I think next time um, I'm not going to seal it first. I think I'm going to put this on before I've sort of sealed it just to see if these stick on any any easier because they're not they're not really sticking to the surface all that well. They will stick but it just means it's taking a little bit more time. Paula did recommend popping them in the fridge for half an hour beforehand as well if you're um, because apparently they don't like the heat if you're if you're having trouble with them but they are they are being quite time consuming. Now I did put some on um, a mirror. I know it's a completely different surface, but they went on very quickly. So do bear in mind that you've got to sort of take a little bit more time. But next time I do one, I am going to try it on a, a surface that hasn't been sort of um, a finish first and see how I get on with that. Right, so all the ones on the front are on now. And what I'm going to do now is just burnish them. And that just means to go over it with a cloth um, just to get any bits that might be raised just to put them down go over it very carefully and don't be tempted to rub because that might bring the, um, the transfer off now on the top I'm going to put this beautiful floral pattern and then I'm also going to put this strip on the back because I haven't got room for any moulding I'm going to put that on the back just to kind of tie it all in so I'll do the same rules, measure it, get the centre and apply it in exactly the same way. just taping down this back part I'm going to do exactly the same and put the transfer onto there right so that's that part done what I'm going to do now is to line the drawers so in this middle section there's like a bump in the middle there so I painted and varnished that and I'm just going to put the the drawer paper in there and in there now I'll call it drawer paper it's actually just wallpaper it's the um Laura Ashley wallpaper that I picked up for a five or a roll so I'm going to measure this out put this in the drawer and put a section there put a section there and leave this bumpy part in the middle that's why I painted it so I'll do that for all three drawers and then we can just we're just ready to seal over the top right so the drawers are all lined now and I've done the top one and the middle one as well and now what we're going to do is just to seal the transfer with um, some more of the matte um, finishing coat um, just to protect it and go over the top with another layer. And here we go, so it's completely finished now and I have to say I've really, really enjoyed doing this project. Um, the upcycling bug is quite um, contagious, so once you start doing things and you can kind of see something that would have ordinarily been thrown out um, or no use turned into something that's so beautiful and something that can be used for many, many years to come, it really, really does give you sort of the thirst to carry on and do some more. So I hope I've inspired you to have a go. Um, if, I, if I have inspired you to have a go, then do let me know. Also, we've got a Facebook group where you can share pictures and things that you've maybe started crafting, upcycling, that sort of thing. Um, so check out the links below if you want to start and do any projects like this yourself. And that's it. So I hope you're all OK and I'll see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.